Hi, I'm Tanya Dillard, co-creator of the Kayak Fitness Program. Our goal in creating this program was to help increase your fitness level so that you can better enjoy the sport of kayaking. For those of you new to the sport, this will give you the physical capabilities to paddle with ease. For those of you who are seasoned paddlers, this will give you muscle balance to help protect against injury. Either way, you'll enjoy this well-rounded workout. Let's warm up. You'll need your Swiss ball or medicine ball and adequate space. We're gonna begin with a squat. Feet a little wider than shoulder distance apart. Hands on the hips, go ahead and start. Down, then up. We're gonna go ahead and work biceps. All you need for this segment is tubing. Keep the elbows close into the body, chest lifted. We're gonna work core strength and stability. Hold this one just a little bit longer. Again, make sure that that head stays up in alignment. You're strong through the upper back and chest. Abdominals are pulled in. Holly's got her heels together, and this just engages the inner thighs a little bit more, so you can go there if you want to. Let's get started with chest exercises. Right foot forward, slight bend through the knee. You can lift your arms out to the sides, elbows slightly bent, palms forward. Inhale as you press the arms slowly together. All right, we're gonna work triceps. For this segment, you'll need your tubing and your medicine ball. Let's get the medicine ball first. You're gonna step considerably wider than hip distance apart. Toes turn out to the sides shoulders back and down and bend your knees slightly. This is the start of the sumo squat position. We'll just start squatting to begin. Let's go. Down. Back up. Okay, we're going to do back exercises and exhale. Pull back in using the lats. It's definitely a core intensive exercise, but it's also lat as well. Inhale, rolling out. Okay, we're going to work shoulders now. Go ahead and add the arm movement. So lunge first, then lift to the front, to the corners and sides back to the corners, again to the front, and to your corners. We're ready to do forearms. Make sure your knees are slightly bent here, abdominals pulled in, and this time turn your palms over so you have an overhand grip, and go back to that same position, elbows close into the waistline, wrist in neutral. Okay, we're gonna stretch. After a long day of paddling or working out, you need to be sure to do this part. Press your chest towards the floor and arch the back opening up the chest, stretching out the lats. Good, exhale again and tuck the tailbone towards the head, six to 12 and again. Good. The cross training is very important for kayaking because kayaking is a very specific sport and it develops specific muscle groups. And um, if that's all you're doing, then you tend to lose a lot of other muscle memory. My background is in competitive cycling, but I have dabbled in kayaking as well and enjoy that. And these exercises really seem applicable to the mechanics of paddling and also would be applicable to other outdoor pursuits. Ever since I've been incorporating more cross training, cycling, yoga, hiking, fitness training into my life, um, I, feel, I feel much stronger, I have much more energy, and it's really been a positive, had a positive impact on my kayaking. For a number of years, all I did was kayak and I didn't really um, do a lot of cross training and I was in good kayaking shape but I probably could have been an even I ha could have performed even better out on the water had I been doing all of this other um, cardio and core strength training. Whether you're a competitive kayaker and looking to strengthen your skills or just if you're recreational and you want to make things a little bit easier that cross training and specifically kayak fitness like going to a gym and working out and doing sit-ups and all of that stuff, um, that can really help out your technical skills and it just makes everything that much easier. You, know, you do that and you get back out on the water after the winter and all of a sudden all the moves are easier. You're more comfortable paddling down the river. It helps with your balance and just your confidence in general.